a cozy dimly light lit living room in the vampire lane. The room is adorned with gothic decor and the flickering candles cast shadows on the walls. Namjoon is dressed in formal attire for the pre-wedding reception, while Nancy is sitting on the couch watching him pack a small bag for their two months old daughter Yen. Their other daughter Jisoo, a toddler, plays quietly nearby. Namjoon adjusting his cufflinks and packing Yen's bag. Nancy, I need to head out now to finalize some details for the wedding. I'll take Yen with me since she seems to want some time with her appa. I don't know Namjoon, I have this uneasy feeling, something doesn't feel right about today, she said worriedly. Namjoon gently picked Yen and holding her in his arms. It's just pervading nerves, my love, everything will be fine, we are surrounded by family and friends, what could go wrong? I can't shake this feeling, ever since we got here, it feels like a storm is coming. Namjoon smiled at little Yen, then at Nancy. You know, I would never let anything happen to you or our girls. I may not have my powers anymore. Powers anymore, but I still have my instincts and they are telling me everything's alright. Nancy hold Namjoon's hand tightly. Just promise me you'll be careful and take good care of Yen. I promise. Yen will be safe with me. We will be back before you know it. Just a quick meeting and we will return to you. Nancy sighed, managing a small smile. Okay, I trust you. Just hurry back. I will. Take care of yourself and our little one here. With one last reassuring smile, Lam Jun gently kisses Nancy before heading out the door with Yen in his arms. As he walks away, he glances back his heart full of love and a hint of melancholy not knowing this would be the last mid time he would see Nancy. Nam Jun leaving the house, the door closing softly behind him while Nancy watches from the window a scene of forbidding lingering in her heart as she waves goodbye to Nam Jun and Yen. A shadowy room in the vampire really. The walls are lined with ancient books and dark uh, artifacts. Jin stand by a window talking in hushed tones with a mysterious figure clogged in darkness. The atmosphere is tense and filled with forbidding Jin glancing around to assure no one is listening. We have to act quickly, Namjoon, left with Yen. It's time to put our plan into motion. The man leaning forward eagerly asked, What do you want me to do? Follow Namjoon. Make sure he doesn't come back. Once you have deal with him, bring Yen to me. She is the key to everything. The man nod. And what about you? What's your part in this? I'll head to the vampire castle and get the black magic book. We need it for the ritual to work. What if someone tries to stop you? Jin narrowed his eyes. If anyone gets in my way, even if it's my own mother or Namjoon's wife, I won't hesitate to kill them. They can't be allowed to interfere in our plans. Understood. I'll make sure everything goes smoothly on my end. Good. Remember, Yen must be unharmed. She is vital for the ritual. Without her, everything we have worked for will be ruined. I'll take care of it. Namjoon won't see it coming. Jin smirked. Excellent. Soon we will have the power we deserve and no one will stand in our way. The man nods and quietly slips out of the room, leaving Jin alone. Jin stares out the window, his mind racing with anticipation and the promise of power ready to execute his plan, without remorse or hesitation. 
Jin turned away from the window, his expression a mix of determination and cold ambition as he prepares to leave for the vampire castle. A dark narrow alley in the vampire realm, the moonlight barely illuminates the path as Namjoon walks holding his two months old daughter Wyan in his arms. He speaks to her softly trying to entertain her as they make their way through the quiet night. Namjoon gently bouncing Wyan in his arms, smiling down at her. Look at you little one, so wide awake, you are keeping up a company aren't you? Little Wyan gurgles happily, Namjoon chuckled. I'll bet you are going to love the wedding. So many people to meet and I'll make sure you dance with me. As Namjoon continues walking, he sends something amiss. A faint rustling behind him catches his attention. He pauses looking around the alley but sees nothing. Namjoon whispered to little Wyan, Did you hear that? Maybe it's just the wind. Reassuring himself, Nanjun resumes walking, humming softly to Wyan, but the uneasy feeling lingers. Suddenly, he feels a sharp pain in his back and he stumbled, almost losing his grip on Wyan. Namjoon gasps, struggling to stay upright. Wah, who? Namjoon turns his head and sees most unexpected person standing there, his best friend holding a bloody dagger. Shock and betrayal wash over him as he tries to compare in the situation. Ja Namjoon breath heavily, eyes white with disbelief. Taehyung, yes me, are you surprised? Taehyung's voice filled with anger and re restament. Why? You dare ask me why Namjoon? After everything you did to my family. Namjoon is stunned trying to understand. Your family. Taehyung, I never... Taehyung interrupted his voice raising. You destroyed them. You took everything from me and you never cared not once. You killed my family, my mom, dad and my sister, my brother, everyone. What they did to you, huh? Taehyung, you are misunderstanding everything. I never killed anyone. I, I never killed your family. Namjoon groaned in pain when a heart punch landed on his face by Taehyung. Namjoon clutched Wyan protectively in his arms who started crying by now. Pain is evident in Namjoon's eyes. I saw it. I saw you killing them by myself, he shouted. I didn't know. I never killed or hurt anyone, he said, breathing heavily due to the pain in his back. You were never soft, never cared. I was just a tool to you. Well, now it's time you pay for what you have done, he said bitterly. Nanjun grimacing, trying to stand firm. We were brothers, Taehyung. There must be another way. It's too late for that. You have bought this on yourself. Wyan is coming with me and you are not leaving this alley. As Namjoon collapsed to his knees, the weight of betrayal heavy on his heart. Taehyung steals himself, determined to exact his revenge and carry out the plan. 
Taehyung forcefully took Wyeon from Namjoon's hand. He took Wyeon in his arms and injected something in her neck. Slowly, little Wyeon's crying died down and she became unconscious. Namjoon on the ground fighting to stay unconscious and protect Wyeon while Taehyung stand over him. His resolve hardened by anger and the desire for retribution. Taehyung turned around and started. started walking while holding Wyeon. He thought that just a mere stab will kill Namjoon, but he forgot that Namjoon is a vampire prince. Taehyung's steps halt and his grip tightened over little Wyeon when he heard a heavy voice from behind. Dare to harm my daughter Taehyung, I'll forget you were like my brother once. Taehyung turned around and saw Namjoon standing behind in his vampire look. His eyes were shining red, his white skin turned pale. It seems like he is dead or something. He was wearing a black cloak which was hiding his whole face but his red eyes are visible and a black smoke is coming out from his both the hands pressing, representing the powers. He was looking hella dangerous. Taehyung looked down at little Wyan and then at Namjoon. Taehyung poked his cheeks with his tongue and chuckled saying, I knew it. You never sacrifice your powers. You were fooling Nancy all the time. He scoffed. I want you, Taehyung. Leave my daughter. She has nothing to do with it. I won't. He spoke coldly. Then don't tell me I didn't want you before. He said, moving his hand, activating his power. Oh, so you wanna fight? Let's do it then. I know you are not powerful, powerful like before. I know I am not powerful like before or like you, but I still have ability to, to protect my family and I'll do it till my last breath. Let's see. He placed unconscious little vine under the tree and marched towards the Namjoon and in a blink of an eye, they both clashed with each other, not showing any mercy to each other. A dark ancient early at midnight, the walls loom or tall casting eerie shadows. The air is thick with tension as the full moon shines down, reflecting off the fangs of two vampires, Namjoon and Taehyung. Namjoon, older and more powerful, stands with a menacing grin while Taehyung's eyes burn with determination. They were badly bruised and bleeding profusely, breathing heavily. You should know by now, Namjoon, you can't defeat me. I am stronger, faster and far more experienced. Strength isn't everything, Taehyung. Sometimes it's about the heart and the will to fight for what you believe in. Taehyung lunges at Namjoon with supernatural speed. His fangs bared. Namjoon barely dodges the force of Taehyung's attack, sending him crashing into a wall. He struggles to stand blood trickling from his mouth. Pathetic. You should have stayed in your place. Now you will pay the price. Namjoon wipes the blood from his lip, his eyes glowing with an inner fire. He rushes at Taehyung, their movement too fast for the human eye. They exchange blows, each one more brutal than the last, but Taehyung's power clearly overwhelms Namjoon. Namjoon grabs Taehyung by the throat, lifting him off the ground. It's over, Taehyung. You, ne you were never a match for me. Taehyung choking but managing a smile. You are wrong. It's not over. In a swift, unexpected move, Taehyung pulls a dagger. The ancient dagger who can kill any powerful vampire in a blink. If the person stabbed the dagger in vampire's heart thrice, the vampire die eventually, no matter how much powerful he or she was. Jin gave dagger to Taehyung to kill Namjoon. Taehyung pulled out the ancient dagger from his belt, glowing with an ancient renaissance. He drives it into Namjoon's side. Namjoon staggers back, shocked, releasing his grip on Taehyung. But instead of falling, Namjoon roars with anger and pain. 
you will regret Taehyung. With all his remaining strength, Taehyung launches himself at Namjoon again, this time with a fierce determination. The two clash once more, but Taehyung man manage to stab Namjoon in the chest, the blade sinking deep into his heart. Namjoon gasps, his strength falling. I was always stronger. Namjoon breathed heavily, his hand trembling. Strength alone isn't enough. Taehyung pulls the dragger out and stabs Namjoon again and then once more. Each strike more resolute than the last. Namjoon collapses to the ground, his body weakening as the life drained from him. Namjoon was taking his last breath. You, you were always so stubborn. Taehyung kneeled beside Namjoon, his eyes filled with sorrow. And you were always too proud. Namjoon looked at his little daughter one last time. His tear fell from his eyes. I'm so sorry, my child. Please forgive your appa. Your appa loves you so much. He said, looking at unconscious Y and closing his eyes. Finally, his body disintegrates into ash, leaving Taehyung kneeling in the dark alley, holding the bloody dagger. He don't know, he was feeling guilty and started regretting his actions. Taehyung look up at the sky, the moon shining down on him. A single tear fall from his eye. Why did you do that, Taehyung? What's their fault? Taehyung stand up, the dagger is still in his hand, the weight of his victory heavy on his shoulders. Placing back bloody dragger in his belt, he looked at Wyan. He looked at Wyan and took her in his arms, walking towards his secret place. Taehyung stood frozen outside the door, his heart pounding in his chest. He had little Wyan in his arms, the child's tiny fingers wrapped around his shirt, even she is unconscious. Oblivious to the storm breathing inside Taehyung's mind, inside the room he heard Jin's voice filled with a cruel amusement that Taehyung had never heard before. I can't believe how easy it was to manipulate him, Jin said laughing softly. He really believed Namjoon killed his family, but in reality it was me who was disguised as Namjoon, and Taehyung did exactly what I wanted. He went to kill Namjoon for me. Such a fool. I'm sure by now Namjoon is dead. He laughed. Jimin's wife joined in quieter but equally unsettling. You really did a number on him, Young. Poor Taehyung. If he ever finds out, it will destroy him. Tears welled up in Taehyung's eyes as the realization hit him like a truck. He had been used, manipulated into committing an unforgivable act. The anger and pain he felt were nothing compared to the guilt now consuming him. Namjoon was dead because of him. His leader, his brother was gone, and all because he believed Jin's lies. He looked down at little Wyan and the innocent child who now depended on him. The weight of him actions felt heavier with every second. How could he have been so blind? How could he ever atone for what he had done? But as the regret at him, another emotion began to rise rage. Not just at Jen, but at himself. He had to fix this somehow. He had to make things right, even if it meant confronting Jen and facing the truth of his own betrayal. With one last look at Kyn, Taehyung made a silent promise. He would protect what was left of his family and he would make Jen pay for his deception no matter the cost. Now, what's your plan? He asked, drinking his wine. I'm going to take black magic book which is in Vampire Castle and there I will kill Nancy and the little shared Jisoo. Nancy, she has to pay what she did 
to me. She chose Namjoon over me. I will kill her brutally. He said, remembering his past, how Nancy rejected him and accepted Namjoon's proposal. The young's breath hissed when he heard Jane's words. The young shook his head, breathing heavily. N Nancy, no, I won't let you do that, Jen. I will save Nancy. Please forgive me, Hyung. He cried, remembering his young's words. You will regret. You are right. I am regretting. I am regretting everything now. He cried softly. I am so sorry, Vyan. I separate your appa from you. He whispered, looking at Vyan. No, I will make everything right. I will. He took unconscious Vyan in his hand protectively and flew away towards the vampire castle.